Uh, well, I guess I'll start by introducing myself, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, I'm Mitchell Pollard. I'm the s senior student senate member of Knott County Central. Angela Thornsbury, and I'm the teacher leader. And hey, my name is Bryson Honeycutt, and I'm the junior student senator at Knott County Central High School. So this year we had the opportunity to um, apply for a new grant, a community challenge grant, which I know some of you know about. Um, and we had a lot of advice from different people in the county, like what we should do. And so we just sat down and, and started thinking about what problems does our community face currently and what can we do about it. And what is something also that we can do that our students can stay actively involved with? Because some of the opinions that we had, it, it wouldn't have affected our students. After we got done with the project, it would have been over. So we decided that we would um, build a structure between our academic and our gymnasium our academic building and our gym. Um, and we can do a lot of different things with that structure. It's it's like a just a, a covered structure. Um, and so we can use it at the school for outdoor, cl outdoor classrooms or we can do a bunch of different things with it during the school day. But what we, our main focus is, is to have an outreach to the community. Um, According to the Lexington Herald Leader, we are among the 30 poorest counties in the United States. And I'm sure that some of you are from other counties that may be on that list as well. Um, we have no industry. The, the school district is our number one employer in the county. Um, also other things that you are faced with. so. We wanted to provide the community with an opportunity to, to come in and be educated in ways that they can go out and maybe expand their career or learn a new skill that they can use. So that's what we've been, that's what our focus has been for this year. So I'm gonna let these guys kind of talk a little bit more about what we wanna do with the structure and, and how we're gonna measure that success. Uh, a couple of ideas we had, well, actually 4-H had, uh, that they wanted to do with the structure was uh, have a bunch of classes and open it up to the community so that they can come in and uh, learn. So uh, a couple of those ideas, they, they want to have rabbit shows and uh, what else did you say that, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. They were they wanted to uh, FFA would have used it in our school to to build a it was a table, wasn't it? A table to use the and the host a community barbecue session and then they wanted to use it for a farmers market and uh things of that sort. So we could use it to include our community in those kinds of activities and then we could even have classes um, for our students and maybe even community members with it as well. Also with the Patriot Pavilion we have thought that we could reach out and do maybe bluegrass concerts to try to also increase that community involvement um, because we feel like that's one of the things that we lack at in our area in Hyman is getting the community involved in what we're doing at Knott County Central High School. So uh, that was one thing that we had thought. And then on Fridays, you know, you have tailgating parties. We thought that would be a great venue to use for that. And really all the events that we plan to have at the Patriot Pavilion is all geared towards getting our community involved and getting and tying our community to our student body. So um, that's where that's where the Patriot Pavilion stemmed from was that idea of community involvement. Um, we plan to uh, keep a log of events that occur at the pavilion so we can monitor the success of of the shelter, and um, we will review that. And we plan on taking some surveys at the end to kind of see how it impacted our students at the high school. Um, I know we were going to partner um, with with community members and with student ambassadors within our school to kind of encourage events to take place at the pavilion. So um, we're very excited 
um, construction has already started on it and um, we're underway so there's a lot of excitement in our school and our community right now about this I mean just this morning we were talking to uh, the FFA and our VOAG teacher at the table and he said oh and I'm gonna use your pavilion for that and I'm like no well that's what it's for it's not it's not my pavilion it's it's for the community and it's for the school so we're all really excited about it and